85, it's 85, like, when is my truce expiring with Novgorod? The 10th of May. God damn it. Why not? Third April. Two. Three. Okay, why not? Positive. Okay, that's never going to happen. What about you? That's never going to happen. What about you? You need one more positive than negative. Crimea. What have I just... How much... I don't have anyone. If I have to rebuild this army, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, how much manpower? I only gained 307. My units are trapped. Crimea. Uh, coalition. I don't want to do that. Because of Lithuania. I could send him a gift. Nope, I don't want to do that. Damn it. I will just improve re relations. Then. Too bad I have to do that. And after that, Lithuania. Can declare war on Novgorod. That's something I might want to cons consider. Hmm. But my five units, my five thousand men, just sitting there. Okay, when happiness amongst the merchants, we can reduce trade investments, lose 50. Oh, I should do this first. I can do this. What does that do? We gain a dog and a mon. Excuse me, my voice cracked. Uh, oh, I will take this. Yes, I will do this. Uh... 50 diplomatic. I don't even have 50. Lose 5 martialism. I don't want to lose 5 much. But uh, I will do it for now. So now we can take an ID. Let's see. Free slot. Now I could go religious IDs. That's something I need. SPNI So also economy IDs and offensive defensive I don't really care expansion IDs Not really at this point Naval Exploration IDs that's something Which would be pretty useful once we have annexed Burm But for now, religious IDs wouldn't be too bad, because then I can start converting. What will that do if I pick that? Diplomatic IDs wouldn't be bad either. So wouldn't be economic IDs. Now, for now, the... Religions don't really have to be a problem. Uh, 
Alright, I don't know what to choose. Economic of religion, I think. No, oh, how much money do I make? A lot. Okay, let's just go for religious ideas. Because I can start converting provinces. Okay. We're building things so we can't send an armory. Okay, that's fine. Marketplaces. How much did they cost? 50. I am not going to. Maybe a few. Let's see. 1.1. 1 .1. Everywhere. Oh no, this. Let's just get local trade power. Let's just. I don't know. One in Moscova. Should do it. Rebels. I have a claim here. Shut up. Uh, I should probably suppress them. 11 is a little bit more than I can handle. Well, I can handle it, you know, but... Uh, 20. It's a lot of military power. And I don't have any. I will do this and then save up on my military power. I also have still claims on Brinsk. Something to remember. What are you doing? Okay, that's fine. Let's go deal with those peasants very fast. My overextension is huge. Calm. But. Okay, that's a problem. So, I need to make it. So as soon as this building is complete, we are going to start converting, if that's possible. Because that's going to be a problem. Now, what about you, Cole? Um, Twelve percent overextension. I could get rid of it. But it would take me sexy administrative power. I will do it. I don't have the technology very soon, I think. So that's not too bad. Don't have to boost stability. I want to, but I don't have to. Crimea minus 29. Let's call him back and see how they think about it now. Uh, relations stop improving. 20 days. Wait for it. Five days. They still don't want to. No. Positive five. I, I, I maybe just have to get rid of it. Too bad for them, but... How much is... 320 manpower a month. That's going to get them some problems. Still waiting for those to complete. No, I could take them on, but... Perm, 3, 1, 9. Finland is still with us. So that's the thing. That would cost me more administrative power.
Novgorod declared war. Who is willing to join? Both countries. If I just build three more people. Your units. Let's build more units. Um. How does one build more units? That's not how. That's how, but... Oh, here it is. Uh, units. More infantry. 25 days. 50 days. 50 days. 51 days. 52 days. No, 51 days. Here we go. A little bit more armies. Uh, are they funded? Yes. Well, they should not be funded. Just to make some more money, I will leave that army there for as long as I can. Pransk. Too bad I can't take it. Crimea. Still have that free thing. Let's see about you. Diplomatic annex vessel. Long time vessels. Minus war exhaustion. An expert, prestige 5, opinion by other subjects, minus 30. Uh, I want to wait for a mission. I will get one soon, I think. After I take Novgorod. Just waiting for those troops and those buildings. I also want to boost this, but uh, whatever. I can't have everything, I guess. Okay, all of you guys, unite. Why are you not? You really have to wait. It doesn't go as fast as it should be. Okay, whatever. Armies. How are the rebels? 9.20 That's... The building is almost complete, so that's something Unite Let's wait for them to be here Okay Now Novgorod, declare war Take Novgorod I don't want to call them in at this point Just go to Novgorod, kick their asses. I don't need to call in my vessels, so... Oh, my... Uh, my vessels are there. My allies, I mean. So I won't do it. And what about you? I still can't convert it? Oh, my God. Oh, my troops are not funded. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm still winning though. I'm an idiot. I just lost a lot of men. Because I forgot to fund my troops. Now, shall I build more? No. What I need is to go to my ideas. I need 400 administrative power. Okay, I will wait. Oh, it's retreating all the way to Moscow. Well, that's not a bad idea. Meanwhile, everyone is sieging. Troops can come back. And the month is over, so they will increase in everything. Look at those rebels. Just agents by Kazan to fabricate the claim. Quit it up.